Tonight, new developments in a police chief controversy. Early this morning, former DeKalb County Police Chief Terrell Bolton spoke briefly about what's next after being the county's top cop. Channel 2's Ryan Young is live outside DeKalb County Police Headquarters with the very latest. Ryan. Good morning, Fred. Let's be honest. The drama here still continues. The chief went upstairs to finally get access to his office, and he came out with a smile on his face. Oh, it's all good. We, we're looking forward to a good day, and uh, um, when we have an opportunity to tell our side of the story and move, move forward, uh, I look to be back as police chief real soon. An upbeat Terrell Bolton emerged from DeKalb Police headquarters overnight. The former chief here to collect his belongings and important documents. According to his attorney, Bill McKinney, the fire chief has been denied access for weeks. We're looking for his personal calendars, uh, his uh, comp time records, uh, and also personnel files. He has a lot of personal plaques. He's got uh, information that he needs for his defense. It's obvious Bolton looks thinner. His attorney told us the battle against diabetes is constant. Bolton apparently needed several doses of insulin while here. A battle against diabetes. The chief says he's trying to win. I'm battling, but I'm, I'm doing better. Thank you for asking. I uh, feel much better and uh, uh, trying to get... Uh, uh, get my health back in good order. Uh, when you're on medical leave uh, that's approved, uh, you cannot be terminated. Hours of searching and packing, the boxes here contain pages and pages of emails and personal items gathered and loaded into this van. As the chief pulled away, he believes not for the last time. We're also told the chief was never left alone once he was inside his office. He was under constant watch. Reporting live from DeKalb County Police Headquarters, Ryan Young, Channel 2 Action News this morning.